Okay, so let's take a look at some more examples of graphing polynomials. So let's look at a different cubic. So last time we looked at y equals x cubed, or f of x equals x cubed. And then we looked at one that was had three factors, which was x minus 4, x minus 1, x plus 3. Let's look at this one where one of the factors is squared. Okay, so if, but before we do that, um, actually let's look at just x minus 2 squared. If you're to graph this, this is a quadratic. It has one x-intercept. So what does that actually look like? Well, x minus 2 squared looks like x squared shifted to the right 2. And it opens up like this. Okay, it goes like that. It just touches when it's a squared factor because it doesn't it can't go through because otherwise it'd have to come back up someplace else. Okay? Similar thing's gonna happen with a cubic. So when you only have two factors in a cubic, so x minus two, let's say x plus three, that's a cubic. When you multiply this out, you're gonna have a quadratic times this will give me a cubic. So these zeros for this are x equals 2 and negative 3. So let's plot this. Okay. And we're going to put the, the 2 in here. And the negative 3 as our zeros. And because the a is positive, so the leading coefficient is positive in this when you're uh, looking at it, so it's going to behave like x cubed. If it was negative, then it would go from the bottom. Okay, so it would look like a negative x cubed. So x cubed looks like this. Negative x cubed would just be that flip vertically, so it would come up like this and go like that. Okay, so when a is positive on any polynomial, the right hand is going up. When a is negative, the right-hand side is going down. Okay, So a is positive, so we're going to come down like this. Now, what's going to happen here? Because this is squared, this is going to behave like a parabola right here. And it's going to go right back up. And one of the ways you can test that is to plug in values on either side of 2 to see if it's positive or not. Okay, So what we can do is take 3. 3 in here, no matter what we put in for x here, because it's squared, we're going to get a positive value. So anything squared is positive. This is the only part that's going to change the sign of the y values. So plugging in 3, that's positive, so it's got to be up here. Plugging in well, anything on this side, so try 0. 0 plus 3 is positive. The whole thing's positive, so it's got to come back up. Now, it's got to come back down to the zero here, because it's got a touch there. And now we can see what happens here. It's going to go through again, because it's got to have the same end behavior as y equals x cubed. Okay, And you could check a value here, put in negative 4. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative, times that is going to be negative, so it's got to be down here. So when it's a, a squared factor, it's just going to touch there. Okay, so what happens, uh, another example here, let's do something a little more complicated. Well, f of x equals, uh, let's say, negative x minus 4 uh, squared times x plus 2 times x minus 3. Well, this is now a quartic degree 4, because this is going to be a quadratic, times this will be a cubic. Take that, times this will be a quartic, degree 4. Okay, so the zeros are going to be x equals 4, negative 2, and 3. And because this is a negative, the right-hand side is going to go down. And you can check that by plugging in big, big numbers for x, like a billion, 
billion minus four is positive. Positive, positive. Multiply all these together, you get a positive number. Times a negative is negative. So let's plot the zeros. Uh, we're gonna have four and three. Okay, and then negative two. And so it's coming down. Now at x minus four, it's gonna have to just touch because it's a quadratic one. So it's gonna come up like this, just touch, and then go back up, and then it's gonna have to come down like this, and then down like that, okay? Which makes sense that both end behaviors are the same because it's like a quartic. And because the degree is even, both ends are going to behave the same. Just like in a quadratic. The quadratic opens up on both sides. A cubic goes opposite on both sides. So a quartic is going to be like a quadratic. Degree 6, degree 8, any even degree is going to have the same end behaviors. Okay? So that's that. Um, what about this ugly one here? How about f of x equals, uh, let's say, negative uh, 3x times x minus 2 cubed uh, times x plus 5. And so that so far is a cubic, quartic, quintic, degree 5. Okay, so we're going to have opposite end behaviors because it's degree 5. Let's write down the zeros for this. So the zeros are x equals a 2, negative 5, and we can't forget this part here. If x equals 0, the whole thing equals 0. So that is one of our zeros. Okay, it's one of the most common ones that's forgotten. When you have an x term outside here, can't forget it in terms of the, the zeros that you're plotting. Okay, so x equals zero is one of the x-intercepts. So this is going to be a quintic, which will look like a cubic on the end behavior, but it's a negative leading coefficient, so it's going to start down below. Uh, going to go down to the right. Okay, plotting the zeros. So there's zero. Uh, let's say. 2 is there, and negative 5 is there, and it's going to come up. And at 2, because this is a cubic factor, just like before, when this was a quadratic factor, it just touched. So like x squared. But a cubic goes through the function with a twist, or through the x-axis with a twist. So this is called an inflection point. I'm just going to call it a cubic twist at this point. So I'm going to say that it comes up like this. Just does a little twist. Comes back up. And then comes back down. Because it's got to go through the x equals 0. And then goes back to here like that. Okay. So the function goes on like that. And this is called a twist in the function. Okay, so it's an inflection point. I call it a cubic twist. So anytime the factor is an odd degree, it's going to go through with a twist, unless it's 1. So x to the 1 just goes straight through like a line. But otherwise, it goes through with a twist. If it's a quadratic factor, degree 2 factor, or even degree, even uh, x minus 4 to the 4th, it's just going to touch. x minus 4 to the 6th, it's still just going to touch there. Okay, so those are some examples on graphing some polynomial functions.